Do your earrings look like this? I've been trying forever to find a way to organize my earrings because I have so many. I'm going to show you how to make this very useful earring holder. If you like me, you have a lot of earrings and sometimes they get kind of cluttered. So in this video, I'm going to show you the easy steps on how to keep them all organized in this very neat holder. Well, I have a spot right here. See, I've got all my necklaces lined up, but I have a spot right here. It's just narrow enough that I could make a nice screen to hang my jewelry on. So I'm going to show you how we can make this fit. To start with, I have a diagram of what I want my screen to look like. And I want mine 27 inches in height and 9 inches in width. And so we're going to start by making um, the frame. I want it to be one inch wide all the way around. Let's measure the foam board. My foam board is 30 inches by 20 inches. So I'm going to take my clear ruler and I'm going to find my one inch mark. And I'm just simply going to draw it out with a pencil. And that's the wonderful thing about the clear ruler is that you can get a really straight line. And now I'm going to go over another inch and I'm going to measure the other side so I can do them both at the same time. I'm going to go one more time and this one piece, one cut here will be for the width. So now that we've got it done, this is what your line should look like. Now I'm going to use my razor and or my blade and I'm going to line it up now that I've got it marked. Okay, and now I'm just going to score it. Once we got it scored, you see how easily it just pops and folds over? Then you just flip it over and the parts that didn't go all the way through, you just kind of finish scoring it and it'll just kind of pop loose. Okay, and let's just move that out of the way there. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other pieces. So I have six pieces of foam board because you're going to need four sides and two tops and two bottoms because you're going to make a sandwich um, for the screen. Now I'm going to cut my pieces to the length that I need. So now you want to kind of, let's move the board out of the way. So now we've got them lined up the way that we want. So we're going to start with the gluing process. And I have my handy glue gun here. So what I'm going to do is to start with, we're going to put glue on the ends of the foam board because we want them to match up. And you're just going to insert it there and here. And you're going to hold those together until the glue dries. Once I've glued one side, I'm going to use some tape. And I'm going to use the tape to hold the ends together. And like I said, you're not going to see this tape because this is going to be on the inside. You're going to repeat this all the way around until you get all four corners done. Okay, our frame sections are done and you want to make sure when you put them together, you're putting the tape sides together. So we're going to put them on just like this and that's going to frame out, you know, our screen. Now we're ready to uh, work on our screen and instead of using screen, I've seen a lot of people on the web use uh, screens that you put on windows. Well, I'm using, this is um, a very stiff crinoline. It's not netting because it's thicker than netting. It's really kind of hard and it keeps the dress kind of standing out. This was removed out of one of the bridal gowns that I worked on. So I just took a piece off and I kind of pressed it a little bit. So I'm going to actually lay my frame on top. And I'm going to just cut out the frame, the screen for the frame. What I did is I cut, I cut one edge of the crinoline so that I can lay the um, frame on top of it. I'm going to put a row of glue from one side to the other. So I've got my glue on there, so I'm going to lay down the tool. Be very careful because these are holes. And as I lay it down, I'm stretching it so that because you want it nice and tight. It's going to be a little sticky. And the good thing about it, if it, if it doesn't position right where you want it, it's okay. You can move, move it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue as I go. I'm just going to put a little bit down. 
and I'm going to stretch it and lay it down. Like I said, it's going to be sticky. So now I'm going to turn this around. And this time I'm going to glue this side and I'm going to pull it so that it stays nice and tight. Okay, so I'm pulling it and laying it down. And it is hot. And if it's not tight, just pull it. So you get it good and tight. Now that you got that done, I'm going to trim off this excess crinoline. Now we've got the spring put on. So we're going to attach the other layer on top. You're going to put glue on the outside of the screen and then you're going to put the other layer on top. To uh, finish off my earring holder so that I can hang it, I'm just going to use a piece of ribbon and I'm going to glue the ribbon so that I can hang this up. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my ribbon. I'm going to put some glue on each corner. I'm going to glue the ribbon down. I'm going to press it down with my scissors there so it adheres good. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And you can make your ribbon as long or as short as you want. And that's how I'm going to hang my earring holder. Now I'm going to get creative with bonding adhesive. It's um, for doing like gold bonding. So you want to make a gold trim on this. So I'm going to open it up. So I'm going to shake it up. Now you can first, if you want to, draw your design on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of draw my little decoration on both sides. And then I'm going to draw across the top. And then I'm going to draw across the bottom. Nothing, nothing to it. Just very simple. Now I think in the middle, I like flowers. I like to be real simple with flowers. So I'm going to do a flower. Just like a four petal flower in the corner. And I'm going to do that for each side. Now I've got a pattern to go by. So I'm going to take my liquid beads, is what I call them. And that's what they're called, liquid beads. Check it up. I always test the beads before I start to do it. So I want to, before I start trimming it out. So I want to, and you want to get the water out. So that way I kind of know how to do it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to follow my line all the way down with the liquid beads. And the thicker you make it, the prettier it be. So I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way down. Now I've got my line done. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get close up. Okay, now you see the bead work? It looks like the, the beaded glue. It's going to be real pretty when we're done. So I'm going to fill in the flower here. And now I'm going to put some little dots in between my little design just like that. And I'll do that all the way around. Now you're going to let this dry for 24 hours and then we'll come back and do step two. Okay, it's been 24 hours since we put the liquid beads on to decorate the screen. And so now what we're ready to do is you're ready to put the foil on. So this is the gold foil that goes along with the um, liquid beads. I love this stuff. It's so neat. Once this dries, it becomes very, very sticky. So what you want to do is we're going to take the gold foil and open it up. It has a little piece of tape on it. So I'm going to try to peel the tape off. And as you see, it's a sheet of gold. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. What you're going to do is you're going to lay this down on top of the sticky, but you want to lay it with the, the shiny side up. And when you lay it down, you're going to press it everywhere you see or that you have the sticky. You want to make sure you press it in there real good. And since I got a long piece, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. So I'm going to lay it down across all of it. And I'm just going to start pressing across. And watch what happens. Oh, this is so cool. 
But before you lift it up, make sure you've got all of your places on there that you had put um, the liquid beads on because you want to make sure. And when you're pressing it, you want to press it so that you get the sides as well as the top. Because if you just press the top, it's just going to look like you got a little piece on there on the very top. But I'm pressing all the way around everything that I did. And now here comes the fun part. You just simply peel it off. Ta-da! Look at that. And see, now you have the gold. And now our screen is complete and it's all decorated and it's ready to hang. So now we're going to uh, show you how you put the earrings on. Well, I have a few of my earrings. I put in a few sets of my earrings. I'm going to show you how simple it is. And I'm only just going to do a couple of them to show you. But then um, I'm going to hang it. But because of all the holes in the tool or the, um, the crinoline, see when you put the earrings on there, See, you can hang them together and they stay nice and neat and the fabric is pretty sturdy so you just hang them in just like that and now all my earrings can stay nice together so I'm going to go and get them all on there and I'm going to show you what it looks like once I got it hung <music> 